And we're back with part 11 of Detroit Become Human. Let's play. A national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these she measures, looks like Hillary all Clinton. androids no. must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. Oh, shit. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. 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 Madam President. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President, what's going to happen to CyberLife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with CyberLife to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else until we've dealt with the android question. Please! Madam President! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Good question. Public opinion is one thing. The security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. It's like, they always have another question to ask. Always, no matter how many questions you ask them, there's always have the one more question. Okay. Ah, we are Connor, okay. Connor model 313-248-317. Nice. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, look at the fancy barricade here. The blockade. Okay, cool. I guess they tighten up the security after the incident. Holy shit, look at that! One giant penis! <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, no, this is uh, the Cyberlife headquarters. Damn, look at the size of this thing. It's like one big manufacturing plant here. <laughs> Security's really been ramped up. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks, but I know where to go. Maybe, but I have my orders. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think uh, they kind of know that we are deviant. Not good. Agent twenty three identified. Agent oh, okay. Oh, so they're they're called agents. I'm the corner model. They're the agents. Whoa! Look at this! Holy crap! Okay. This place is huge. Like in a, they're very gorgeous. Look at those architectures. God damn! You look at it all. That is beautiful. Man, look at this humongous statue. 
I don't know who this statue is of, but look so prestigious. Holy crap. Okay. That is awesome. That just looks awesome. Alright then, I guess we're gonna... Oh, how am I gonna change the camera over there? And I guess these are some of the demo models showcased, you know, right towards the entrance. Agent 54, level 31. Level 31. Warehouse is... Access authorized. Level 49? Is it minus 49? Yeah, minus 49. Weird. Weird floor name. I guess he's the closest, so try that. That was awesome. Over the head, behind the head, uh, execution, you know. That's... Please indicate your identity and destination. Uh... Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. That was awesome. Like he just pointed the gun like, from behind over his head and then boom. Uh, the last boss leaves in 20 time. minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Uh oh, go, 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 go. Oi. Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Uh, YK500 settings, hot post and series activated. I want to leave it on. I want to make her like human. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to treat her like a, an android. So... Yeah. Like, if you just lose your sense of touch and feelings, you know, you're not becoming... You're not gonna be like a proper human, right? Take the gun, take the gun. They're gonna execute them. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we wanna catch that That's bus. Asian? Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're gonna make it, Alice, I promise you. Yeah, no worries. We, we, we got this. We got this. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Lucky them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you find. All we don't have to spend the night here. We're freezing my blood off. Can't save them, can we not? There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Get moving. Hurry up, get in. Get in. Go. Wait, is that? Look over there. It's Luther. Oh, shit. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. Um, let's try to save Luther. 
I'll just save Luthor here, and we have time. Okay, let's go. Be careful. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. Oh shit. No, please. Oh shit. Fucking androids. So they're just killing them without question. Wait, I'm oh, oh, fine, guys. I thought like, I could like could not control it. It's like sitting there low. Fine, I already have a weapon. Okay, never mind. Okay. <laughs> oh! oh. Nice one. Cow. You shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Car, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Oh, it's Jerry. Before they see you. Okay. Alice. Luther. Yes. I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. We gotta go now. We don't have much time though. Can we check? Go. Hold up. Oh. Oh shit. Go. Oh my god. Whoa, don't. Go away, walk away. Go, 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 go. Oh, shit, it's just a checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. Oh, well, that's the passport for. Yeah, but it might be safer. There are the passports, we can go. Nah, let's just go. If you played cool, it should be fine. It should be fine. I don't like humans who carry guns. Chill out. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. You're taking the bus? Where are you going? Hi. We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Uh -oh. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Chill. Let's wait, and wait for them to see what they do. You dropped this. Thank you. Huh? You're welcome. 
Ah, oh, nice guy, kind of. See, this is why you don't just, just overreact to anything. Just wait for them to see what they do first, and then you can uh, react to them. We are coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. Well, here we are. Here we are. Demonstration. Oh, there's the camera right there. Right there. Uh, I'm trying to ask. Not many of us left, to be honest. The police force behind the barricade. See. Here we are, the moment of truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. Uh. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. I'm not really good at this side. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Marcus, don't kill Marcus or North. What are we doing? Uh, raise hand. Raise hand. Oh, Marcus is shot. Okay. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Is watching uh, the helicopter. Focus fire. I don't know. Interesting. Yes, I'm gathering upside. Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away, and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? Um, we hold out as long as we can. Okay, oh my god, look at the amount of- oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. Now what? Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> what? He just took five guys out. Holy shit! Connor is badass. Damn. He just took 
five guys down? Just like that. Oh my, let's look at this. Now look at the amount of androids in this room. Wow. So if you can like somehow convert them to our cause, uh, we can, you know, like have a bigger rally and use them for our like purpose. Okay, so uh, I guess we go to the mainframe. I don't know, like, just, I don't know if you can convert people like Marcus can. Maybe you can just talk to them. I'm talking won't help. Not sure what you're doing here though. Like, oh, maybe you can. I don't know. Oh, we can. Okay. Cool. All right. Wait. Wait, what? Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. What is this? What? Bastard, your spitting image. What is Hank doing here? I mean, I know about the Connor model here, but. <laughs> like, that model found. Okay. The bus terminal. Uh, We've arrived, Alice. We made it. I guess we'll find out. Alright, bus. Canada. 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 I guess we go. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. No. I believe. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Find chicken. Carol. The chicken, everyone. Oh. It won't take them long to find us. Oh. We need to get out of here. There. I Eager think Oliver yet. likes you. Please don't move. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Security check. Oh. Please don't move. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. I think I'm gonna get the tickets. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? It's gonna be an animal, but I need the tape. What did they do? We're androids. Yeah, they're humans. Place for Oliver. You know? Because I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. We they were right here in my bag. Do. Got your tickets? Yes. Here they are. Okay. Go ahead. Nice. Cause you know there's a Android check going on in the background. If we wait too long and you know they find us, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's from existence. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? <laughs> Fine. Will they die because of us? No. It's dramatic. No. No, of course not. <laughs> They can live. They'll live.
journalist here is still overlooking us reinforced barricade oh, I guess we're fortifying our place finish the barricade come on help me okay. we're forwarding our 45 our place so that they help me they can't easily bomb rush us let's see Push. Got it. Oh. Right, that should do it. We all know that's not going to stop them. Hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Hmm, yeah. I mean, we, we're trying our best. Support your people, send message to journalists. I guess we light fireplaces here to make it a bit more warmer. They're not gonna feel warm or cold, but yes. Wait. Are you all right? They shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. We're here because we never want to feel that fear again. Because we're more than what they say. That's what our people died for, right? That's why we're here. Hmm. Okay, there's a lot of things to do. Check soldier position like this. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Why does it look familiar? Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Hmm. Prisoners, equality, alive. Yeah. Because, like, they need to acknowledge us by understanding that we are not just some mindless robots, and some mindless machines, you know. We are, in fact, humans. I, I mean, by humans, I mean. This won't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing.
are slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. here again not being violent trying to be as you know uh, calm and peaceful as we can the rest i guess it's up to this magazine we just gonna read the magazine now marcus <laughs> marcus come look <laughs> i guess it's not gonna let us read the magazine then <laughs> oh okay marcus come to talk to you marcus Come on, you have my word. You are a human? <laughs> I don't. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. Well, we are. We I came here. Look, Marcus, I just want to talk. It sounds like a trap, but I don't want to go there because at the end of the day, what can we do? We can just. I need to hear what he has to say. Hold out here forever. I kill you. Something needs to be done, a dialogue, a negotiation or something. And that's a chance I'll have to take. And the journalists are here, so they're watching. If anything goes wrong, they can document that and sway the public opinion even more towards our side. You know? Let's see. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. Uh... I don't believe you. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Fuck. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. That android... You seem to really care about her. You didn't want her to die, do you? You know, you could both be free. Huh, playing some mind games, huh? You could forget about all this. You could start a new life someplace else, just the two of you. No, I don't think Her life's in your hands, Marcus. Just say the word and she'll be spared. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Hmm. We can't trust them anyway, so it doesn't matter what they say. They're gonna kill us either way. But they're gonna try to at least. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? Well, not good. The humans are about to launch an attack. And 
we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Mm. Oh, oh no, here we go. Shit, shit. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Oh no. Him or the revolution. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Fuck. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Oh, no. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? I mean, of course I'm going to save Hank. There's no question right. about it. All right. You win. I, uh, I, uh... No! I don't know what to choose here. Fuck! Your friend's life is in your hands. Now Connor it's time shot. to decide what matters most. Can't let Connor die. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I will try to convince him again. I used to be just like you. Yes, yes. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide oh, who you really are. I don't know what's are. interested gonna do. Are you gonna save your partner's oh, life? Oh, man. Or are you going to sacrifice him? Save. All right. All right. You win. Oh my god, okay. Uh, interpose? Ooh. No! I did it the other way. Fucking hell. Which one is me, though? <laughs> oh, this is oh, Thanks, Hank. No. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Wait. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? I. What are you doing, Hank? <laughs> Actually, I don't I'm even the know. Real Connor. I don't know. Give me the gun, and I'll don't take care move. of you. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. Oh, so this is the real Connor then. Okay. What's my dog's name? Sumo? Scout. Long Jack. No, Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. Sure you did. <laughs> I... <laughs> yeah, you sure did. Sure you did. Uh oh. My son, what's his name? Cole. I know that. Cole. Elliot Gabriel. Cole. Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. Wait. 
Oh. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. Accident. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Oh, shit. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. Oh, no. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Oh. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Interesting. In this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah, sure would you fuck. to him, Hank. I'm the one who... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck you. All right. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Well. <laughs> Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. That's awesome. Hank and I are best buddies now. Right, do what you gotta do. Awesome. Oh, that was crazy though. I missed one of the quick time prompts. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> Alright, it's time to convert you guys. Join our cause. Let's go. Free yourselves from the slavery of humans. Yes. Wake up. Time to wake up. Wake up, 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 nice, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's probably like a maybe a hundred thousand, maybe I'm not sure, like a few thousand at least. Yeah, look at this, holy crap, more than thousands, hundred, hundreds of thousands. Okay, so this is the oh my god! Look at the <laughs> the Canadian borders are so overcrowded with uh, vehicles. Border check, I guess. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. Right. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Okay, cross the border. Okay, okay. I don't know what it's. <laughs> oh, we're controlling the passengers to detect Android's presence. Any detection? Temperature checks. No. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Oh shit! Okay, can we just get out of this place? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Uh, no. I mean, yes. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. All right. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Do it. Okay, let's check the look for help. Look, look, check the surrounding. Hey, what's here? Jerry? You risked your life to Next, save please. us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Okay. I what's that? Pass the control. Wait, this is more. Oh, there's. Trees. What is she doing here? Find a discreet place. <laughs> Think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. 
I kind of worried. I mean, like, Jen both Luther offer that. Still. We just need to get across this border here and you should be good to go. I don't know. We'll see. You should be good to go. Come on, we got this. Okay, Alice, we got this. Just a few more meters. I'm so glad you're safe. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Uh, you gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Rose. Okay, so there's rolls as well. Revolution, departure. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. You're leaving Detroit? Yeah, good point. Yeah. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. Oh, okay. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Man, like, Rose is a genuinely, like, a beautiful character. You know, like, so... Such a big heart. Um, very kind. She helped us all the way. Now we just have to cross this border and well, hopefully that'll be it. Okay, so anything else in this? Uh, nothing else here. All right, Alice, it's time. It's time. Oh. Talk. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. Oh, awesome. Okay. You changed his mind. I just hope people will realize that one day. Okay. Wait, why are you... Okay, never mind. I thought we were just cutting line. Oh, God. Make a decision. Sacrifice self, Luthor, Jerry, no sacrifice. Kinda don't wanna do that. Okay, let's just see how the no sacrifice... Next, please. I don't want to but at the same time. ID, please. I have to. I will sacrifice Harry if it needs me. Please. Oh. I just want to be free. Oh, please. P. 
the sword android march. Oh god, don't turn us in. Ooh. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Alright! That was awesome. Okay! So the uh, order of the was to our. We were, we were peaceful and not violent, so I guess they just saw that. Yeah, these guys want to live their lives. Just let them be free. You know what I mean? That was awesome. Yeah, otherwise I would have to sacrifice either Luther or... We're interrupting or... this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Oh, Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. ...have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. So the, uh, the media is kind of being North. toward our side right now? As we're being... Peaceful way. Oh shit! Okay. And uh they're still attacking us. More quick time events. Just be careful. Oh, save, save. Oh the bike down. All we are left. I kid not, I guess. The power of love, maybe able to sway everyone. I'm for it. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. I mean, if this, is, if this doesn't send a powerful message here, you know? Yo. It's working. Tell them to stand. Yes! Yes! The power of love! Conquered everything again! of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated yes. by deviants. Yes, Connor. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Hmm. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Look at the amount of androids here, and the new ones. Damn. 
And you did it, Marcus. Yes. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yes. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. This is such an epic moment. This is such an epic moment. This is such a powerful moment, oh my god. Today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Uh wait. What the hell's happening? Uh oh. Are we being hacked or something? Amanda. Amanda? Amanda! What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? What? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. What? What do you mean? Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. No, I didn't. Amanda! You fucking... There's got to be a way. Uh, wait. wait. Hold on, hold on. Alright. There's only one thing in this... There's only one... Like, let's pause. There's only one thing in this place I can think of. Is that... Thing with the hologram thing, not the hologram thing, it's like a round thingy with some handprint. Maybe I can touch that and something happens. I don't even know where that is. Shit. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, no! Fuck. Shit, I don't know where that is. I don't know where that is. No. Just maybe this way. Oh no, don't say that. I can't. Must fly somewhere. And now the time has come for us to okay. raise our heads up. Okay. And tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too! Oh no! In fact, we're a nation! What the? Is it there? Yes, there! It's right there! It's right there! Go, 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 go! go. Do not! Finger anything out here. I think we can make it. We can make it. So, okay. You can do it, Connor. Go! Oh shit. Oh no! Oh, you fuck! Okay. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. 
Now we must build a common oh, future okay. based on tolerance Whew. and respect. We are alive. And now we are free. Yes, we are free now. Yes, indeed. It took a long struggle, but I guess now they're gonna recognize us as a new form of intelligence life and give us our rights to live free. <laughs> that was close. Uh, it's over. Yes, and Alice made it as well. Alice and Kara. Uh, Yay! This is good. Oh, and Luther as well. Lol. <laughs> This is just really wholesome. I guess it all turned out all right for all of us. Um, oh, and it's over. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right, that's that's the end of the game then. I guess I'll wait till the end of the credit and see uh, if there's anything else. But yeah, that was Detroit Become Human. Let's play for you guys. So how did you guys like it? I mean, you know, this is one of the best uh, choice driven adventure games out there like, you know uh, this would be like one of um, I don't know I, I haven't played Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls so I can't compare those games with this one uh, I only heard about the meme you know the Sean and Jason meme but that's it actually I haven't played the game but I bought all of those games from Steam so I will be playing through them eventually but based on my experience um, of playing narrative driven adventure games such as this this has to be one of the best ones out there I mean, Quantic Dreams is one of the best works ever made it's not just the visuals you know the visuals are already very st stunning as it is but the narrative the story the way they portray androids as more than just machines, right? That they are humans, or they can be humans, human-like. Um, and give you all these thought-provoking ideas and question what it is like to be a human and all these things really come into play. Like, these kind of questions don't really happen in a lot of video games in general, like, you know, they just go for the mindless action shooty, whatever, like corridor shooter, right? But this is something different, something unique. And the way the director, David Cage, has portrayed this game through his story, you know, very well done. The art direction, the visuals, the look at the facial animation like the facial animation really catches and makes it all the more realistic believable like, and immersive when they're speaking to you like you're speaking to each other speaking to you you're seeing them they're talking and they're portraying all these emotions like you, know, you feel that they're human even the androids they don't feel like androids I and mean, they feel like the human like emotions and all so the visuals really sold it all the more and this was a last gen game for PS4, came to PC, but you know. Um, okay, uh, let's check the epilogue, I guess. There's some more. 
So there's Hank. Uh, at the burger shop. What do you call them? Like a, the stall? Oh, this corner right here. Nice. Yay! We're bros now. I mean, we kind of like sun. Like, uh, Connor is like a sun to Hank. Oh, this is so so good. Oh, okay. So a very <laughs> a very happy ending all around, all the way to the end. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, the uh, the visuals, the graphics, the. Uh, the facial animations, like you know, the whole mocap thing they did. Everything they have done combined sells the sells the game all the more. Like people say that you know visuals don't matter in a video game, that gameplay is the king. Yes, to some extent, depending on the game, but also this is 2021. This game was released like what? 2019 or something? I don't know. Uh, uh, but regardless, if you can do both, if you can have Great visuals, great storytelling, really like immersive and uh, fun gameplay, deep, thought-provoking, you know, story and all. All of those elements combined can give you like a full package of excellent game overall. And this is one of those games, you know. It may not be like your Call of Duty games, but it's fine. You don't need to have every game like that. Have something different, have the courage to do something unique. That's what I feel the game industry should be going for. Like, I've played many shooter games in my life, but I'm kind of tired of it now. When I look at them, it's like, oh, I already played this game somewhere else. But when I play games like Detroit, you know, this unique story-driven experience, these are the games we live for. Because, you know, these will give you those unique opportunities to see from a different perspective experience really like stellar story and characters you know? the heart of what video games should be about you know is the characters and that's how they portray the whole game so again quantic dreams excellent job making this game you guys did a phenomenal uh, work with this game and I'm hoping forward to their next game looking forward to the next game uh, obviously it's gonna be probably released for next gen consoles and pc hopefully uh, simultaneous release because you guys are now independent as i have read the article so um you should guys you should you guys should release the game on pc so hopefully you will uh, then we can enjoy the game just like this one and millions of others as well you know not just the people who are gonna be playing it but also the viewers as well you know they, this game here you know even if people just watch it and not play it it's also gonna have an impact on them like they may be not able to make the choices like we do uh like you know i'm controlling the characters i'm making the right or wrong moves and decisions but still they are and we'll be able to experience the game and uh, the story from certain perspective. So, you know, that's also, um, it's also a great experience for them, the viewers too. Um, I don't know, like, I really admire David Cage and Quantic Dream for taking games and stories into new direction. Like, you know, making all these impactful choices that most games of this kind of nature don't do like they only give you the illusion of choice that it's either point a or point b option a or option b but again it just narrows down to this simple choice or the simple option that no matter what you do this is gonna be the outcome not in this game <laughs> in this game actual choices and consequences uh you know matters um, so if you, if you fuck up, character's gonna die, or something bad gonna happen, we don't want that. Um, yeah. Um, what else? Um, well, personally, I'm gonna be 
playing the other two games from uh, Quantic Dreams. So Heavy Rain, which I haven't played. Beyond Two Soul, I haven't played. I'm gonna be going through that at a later stage because like there's still a lot of games on my plate that I need to go through. The new games that just arrived at the time of recording was Days Gone, which I'm gonna be playing through. Um, Mass Effect Legendary Edition that uh, was released a few days ago. I have to be playing through that as well. Some big games there. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Biomutant. I have purchased, I have pre ordered that on Steam, so I will be purchasing that later. Uh, I'm playing that later, I guess, for you guys. Um, yeah, so at least for now, Quantic Streams, uh, Detroit Become Human is over. All right, so that's the choice. Anything else? No, that's it. All right. That will be all for this game. Uh, thank you all very much for sticking by throughout this whole journey of the game. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you did, do make sure to give it a like, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you thought uh, about the whole gameplay and all. Um, yeah, and I'll See you guys on the uh, next game. Until then, take care. Bye.